Hello, my name is Gabriel Fairman. I'm the CEO of BureauWorks, and today I'm going to show a very quick demo of our generative language engine powered by AI in our translation editor. Um, I'm going to show this in Brazilian Portuguese so that I don't make too much of a fool of myself. Let's see what happens here when I click on this segment. It's uh, learning from the machine translation in blue, from the translation memory in green, and I can also teach it so that, for instance, let's say, let's add this term to the glossary, and let's say that we would like this to actually be precious, which is different than what's in the machine translation and the translation memory. It's picking up that the part of speech is a noun via AI. I just added this term now to the glossary. Now we, we're saying that pricing is precious. Notice that it's different from both the machine translation and the uh, TM. Let's ask AI to translate it and apply the translation. Now it's translating according to the glossary in runtime. Let's go to the next segment over here, for instance. Same thing, it's picking up uh, a difference in the glossary compared to the 101% match, and it's suggesting that. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. Notice that it's also uh, running what we call translation smells. That's a semantic verifier within BureauWorks. Now let's change this, for instance, uh, over here. This is a glossary term. Let's change to log in to logad and let's apply this. Let's ask AI to translate this and apply the translation. And notice what it has done. It has uh, meshed together the fact that we taught it that login was logad, but it's also learning from the TM matches that say that should should add no sistema, which would literally back translate in the system. And it's suggesting logar no sistema. So it's not just add, adding the term, it's actually inferring based on the context that it should try to follow what's in the translation memory. Um, and you notice that it picked up an inconsistency based on the smells, which I'm probably going to override. Let's see what it says. The translation logar no sistema is not commonly used in Brazilian Portuguese. A more appropriate translation would be in that or a sysad. It's suggesting that I'm not going to go ahead with that, but I'm just going to go and confirm. I can also go in back into the segment as well and ask AI for uh, an independent opinion, and it's saying that it should be translated in a different way called Intrad no Sistema. It's explaining that the Portuguese translation of login is Intrad rather than Logad. And um, that is true in most contexts. In this case, I want to leave it as is. And as I go on through the translation process, that's exactly what it's going to continue to do. In this case, for instance, same thing. Um, let's say the machine translation is translating get started as começar. Uh, the translation memory is saying inici agora. The glossary is using inici. Let's say, for instance, the glossary changed and it's saying now uh, começar. Let's save this term now and apply. Now, when we ask AI to translate, it's, and let's apply this translation, it's using, it's following the glossary. It's also trying to follow the TM and the MT, all with different weights that are dynamically adjusted. And it's proposing this feed that makes sense to me. Um, so th this is a very high level overview of our generative language engine. It works in every single uh, language that we've tested so far. People are having very great results, productivity upwards, 30% increase compared to normal translation memory and machine translation feeds, as well as much greater translation quality and consistency with glossaries. We look forward to having you trying it out for 14 days for free and seeing how it works for you in practice. Thank you.